contestar la... ¿Cómo se llama? Realizar lo que sale ahí para contestar. How's it going, teacher? Hello. It's not red. It is red. Wait. <laughs> It is red, but it's this square. Is, this is red. <laughs> The only red I have is is a is a uh what what do you call it a uh, raincoat. <laughs> That's the only red thing I have. <laughs> um okay, let me I'm going to try uh or to test let's say some um headphones because I'm having some problems with my Bluetooth uh ones. I don't know why. Uh, it's like they are not charging, so for that, so that's an issue. So I will try to work with the other ones. So let me just test them before we get started with the rest of your classmates. You can take all the time that you need. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> time is precious. So tell me how how was um, yesterday. Oh, I went. I uh, can I lie? <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, sure. you can try. Well, what's really funny? Everything was perfect. I travel. I travel. Let me see, a hundred uh, miles far to here, just for visit my family. Uh, we enjoyed the lunch with them. Yeah, we went to Tony Roma's there. Yeah, the rib was really, really, really good. Everything was perfect. All right, let me see. I'm going to test the other one. Your microphone, uh, no, it's not working, I think, teacher. I can hear you, but like you were so far. Okay, uh, now? Now it's the same. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's like how you, you cover your phone or yeah. your, your microphone or something like that. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to modify this. The ladies in red. Okay, let me know if you can hear me now. Right now is perfect. Clear, 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 like a chocolate. Clear, crystal clear. <laughs> okay, I can hear you and you can hear me. So we are good. Isaura says no. It's not clear. It's not. It's clear. It is. Is it or is not? It's clear. It's just she using uh glasses, but she can see. <laughs> so it's not clear for her. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Your comadre. Okay. So um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Um. Uh, well. I think that now everything is okay and we can hear each other. So it's perfect. So uh, you were telling me about the celebration. Um, so what do you do? Uh, Brandy already shared the information with us, some information with us. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, tell us, please. Yesterday, went to visit my family, my grandmother's house. Uh, the wild family was there. Mm -hmm. We ate, uh, we received grief, uh, flowers, and everyone enjoyed the Mother's Days. Awesome. All right. And uh, let me see who's next, who wants to share with us.
that's the point, right? Enjoying, uh, taking advantage of the day off so that you can rest a little bit. Um, any other volunteer? Anyone else? <laughs> okay. Uh, it was nice. I was with my family. I made them more beautiful, uh, my sister and my mom. Okay. Then I ate cake and also a restaurant for dinner and dance a lot. Okay, you dance a lot. Nice. Yes. Most, ma most moms and women love dancing, so that's great. Okay, uh, let's see. Anybody else? Edma? Teacher, no solo voy a comentarle que en unos compañeros, Jorge Alberto dice en el chat que va a estar, no sé, de oyente. Y okay, Ed, okay. Edwin también. Edwin too. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. okay. Y Norma que dijo que ah, she is the hospital with the husband. Yeah, it's a shame. Hopefully everything will be okay with, with her husband. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on. And um, I don't know anybody else, Jorge or Nelson or Jesus, Melvin. Can you hear me? No. Gentlemen. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, they don't want to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson is working. Nelson is working, yeah. Medina. Okay. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Melvin. <laughs> but, well, but yesterday I have I have to work, but we had a uh, lunch with my family for to celebrate the Mother's Day. Celebrate, huh? Yes, just that we we share with with my family. Okay. Yes, and the rest of the day uh, I had to work. All right. You are a workaholic. Yes, I I had. Okay. So welcome to the team. <laughs> We're going to move on, and now. Uh, as I said yesterday, today we're going to practice the conversation at the beginning, right? So we're going to go to the breakout rooms. But before that, I'm going to share the screen so you can take a screenshot, right? And practice uh, with a partner. So the conversation is this one. You will see it in a moment on your screen. Yes, let me know the page, teacher, and I will take the screenshot here on the phone and okay, I will share. That's page 102. Can I take a message? That's the title of the conversation. Okay. You see it there. Can I take a message? Okay, so just one practice together. I'm going to be Mr. Kale and you are the secretary, right? So uh, we go in three, two, one, go. Hello. With who? Um, no se ve that. You are the, sec the secretary and I am the Mr. Kale. I will be the secretary. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Wait. Yeah. All of you. So you just play the secretary uh, role. Ready? Everybody? Three, two, one, go. Good morning, Parker Industry. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Okay, is uh, that G-A-L-E? -E? No, it's K-A-L-E. -E. All right, all right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Just a minute, Friday at 2.30. Okay, got it. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Give me a minute. Uh, I will repeat. 
4031. Yes, uh, Mr. Kale. I'll give the Miss uh, Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so that's what you're going to do, right? So you take a screenshot. Uh, if do you already share that in the group? That's fine. You just check the WhatsApp. Got group. it. Got uh -huh. it. Just give me a second. Okay. Excellent. And now we go to the breakout rooms. Uh, as some of you are not able to use the microphones, I will make groups of three. So some of you will be just listeners. Okay. Um, let me check. I will create four breakout rooms. Let me see if we get Brandy. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if Jesus can use the microphone. Yes, teacher, I can. Yes, okay. Um which Norma is not is not going was not going to be able to join us. because oh, there are two Normas. I was about to sneeze, but I didn't. Okay. So um uh, let's see, one, two, three. We have Jorge here, Sylvia. Okay. Sylvia, are you able to use your microphone? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. Jorge, what about you? We'll see, we'll see what happens with the gentleman today. Isaura, okay, and Melvin. Okay. We're good. Uh, let's just get started. I'm going to move to the room number three and go to the room number one. Okay, perfect. So we're ready to go. You got just four minutes. You do the two roles, right? First as secretary and then as Mr. Kale. In three, two, one, please accept the invitation to join the breakout room. Welcome, Nubia. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to send you to the breakout room number. Wait a second. Four, maybe. No, there are enough people here. Okay, I'll send you to the breakout room number two. Four. Let me just see if everybody's using the microphone in group one. Yes, group two, we only have Jesus. I don't know if Jorge can join the breakout room. Yeah, Oscar and Jesus, I think. Uh, room three, Edma is using the microphone. And Sylvia is not, Sylvia is using it now. It's Aura and Melvin. Okay, so we can practice together uh, in case, wait. Okay, I will send you with Jesus to so the breakout room number. Okay, we have Norma Elizabeth. El yeah. With Oscar in the breakout room. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen. Well, you, you see the conversation right now, right, Noya? Norma Callejas, are you there? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, if you can use the microphone, uh, you can we can practice the conversation with uh, Nubia. Okay. Okay, so Nubia, you are the secretary and uh, Norma is Mr. Kale. Okay. Go. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Mr. Graham, please? Sorry, she's not in. Can I take a um, message? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, please. This is Mr. Mr. Carl. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. 
please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Two thirty. Two thirty. Uh -huh. Friday at uh, two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 forty ten. Yes, Mr. Ten. Hi. I do, Mr. Graham. The message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So now we're we're going to go on with the with the opposite oh, yeah. role. Yeah, there, that's 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 what happens when you have children, right? It's yeah, they participate in the class. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Don't worry. Uh, I remember that at the beginning of the pandemic, I used to have problems because my cat was a baby, so he wanted to be with me all the time, like a kitty, right? <laughs> And it was complicated because I was on the computer and then he came and he wanted to be on, on the computer. And the, yeah. same, the same with my dog. So it was difficult. I had to close the door and just lock up myself so that they didn't get in, in the, uh, interrupting the class. Yes, it's difficult. And, yeah. And then my nephew with classes online. So it was noisy all the time. <laughs> Uh, but we survived that's the most important part <laughs> yeah okay so everybody's coming back they are coming in 10 seconds now okay okay so it's good that you're here um i think we have the majority of the participants today so that's great okay perfect so let's move on uh, we already practiced the conversation that is basically when you uh take a message right for somebody. Um, now, in the message, I mean, in, in the conversation, you see some specific structures, right? For example, if the statement is, the meeting is on Friday, okay? Here we are going to use normally, tell or ask, okay? Those are the verbs that we use mainly. This is a little tricky. It's a little tricky, but I will try to explain you everything in a simple way. So this is when we report, when we report uh, or when we want somebody to report something that we say. For example, um, tomorrow we have classes, okay? Tomorrow we have classes. That's what I say as a teacher. Tomorrow we have classes. And then, Let's suppose that Jose Luis is not here, right? Uh, so please tell Jose Luis that that is optional, okay? That is optional, that tomorrow we have classes. I ask you to please give him my message, right? Please tell Jose Luis that we have classes tomorrow. Or... I can ask you as a question, right? As a, as a question, could you tell uh, Jose Luis that we have classes tomorrow? Okay. Or would you tell Jose Luis that we have classes tomorrow? So we can use could or would. The most common, the most common is could, like I ask him for a favor, right? Could you tell him or could you ask him? Uh, so when it's a message, we normally use tell, tell him, tell her, tell your father, tell the teacher, tell your classmate, tell your brother, tell Maria, right? So we use a pronoun, okay? Uh, that is called object pronoun. I'm going to explain you this. It's something extra, but it's important that you know. Uh, we have subject pronouns. We have different kinds of pronouns, but today I'm just going to explain you subject pronoun and object pronouns. For example, for subject pronoun, we use I. The object for I is me. 
Then we have you, and the object is you. The same, no change. We have he, for example, he is a subject. If we talk about he, Pedro, your father, uh, the teacher, etc., we say him with M at the end. Tell him, okay, or ask him. Um, for she, we use, do you know what pronoun we use? What is the object pronoun for she? Is in the example. Yes. yes, her, excellent. For it is the same, it, no change, okay? For we, we say us. And for they, we use them. 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 So, what is the difference between subject pronouns and object pronouns? Subject pronouns do the action. For example, I take a shower, you listen to me, uh, let's say uh, Melvin works hard, he works hard, uh, she, talking about uh, Brandy, she has a business. Uh, it, talking about the class, for example, the class is from Monday through Thursday. Uh, we are learning English or we are practicing English. They, speaking of, uh, let's suppose the gringos, right? They, um, they like cold weather. Gringos like cold weather, okay? Um, so they is the, the subject, right? What what we are talking or who we're talking about in the sentence. So they take the, they do the action, they take the action in the sentence. Now the object pronouns receive the action. Okay, they receive the action from the subject. So for example, uh, my mother gave me a present uh, <clears throat> um, I bless utter, you thank you bless you it's, it's not COVID it's not COVID okay <laughs> so um, but some co-workers have the flu so I'm afraid that mm, I might get that but let's hope it's not so um, my mother gave me a gift for Christmas. She gave me. Who is receiving the action? She. My mother or me? Me. Your mother. My mother is receiving the action. I know you receiving me. The me, right? I received the gift. I received the me gift. Me received so. the gift. Uh -huh. So my mother is the subject. Gave yes. is the verb, the action. Me is the object. I receive the the action. I received the gift, right? My mother gave me a gift. So um, even I could mention to you, for example, that we have direct and indirect sub object. Okay, that would be something apart from this topic. So in this case, if I say my mother gave me a gift, the direct object is me. The indirect object is a gift. So uh, to identify the two objects in the sentence, I ask the questions. To whom, right? To whom, a quien. And the, to identify the indirect object is what? El que me, que dieron, que entregaron, que dijeron, okay? So um, that would be an example, right? Now, how would you say eh, el profesor nos dijo algo importante? The teacher told us something important. The teacher? Told us. Okay, the teacher. 
The teacher tell us. Told in the past. Told us something important. important. Something important. How would you say, for example, uh, let's suppose that we are talking about, um, well, let's continue with, let's say Brandy, right? Brandy les dio a ellos unas indicaciones, algunas indicaciones. Brandy gave, him, gave she, them some indicaciones. Gave them, them some, some indications. Indication. Uh huh. Gave them some indications. Okay. How would you say, how would you say, um, let's see. Okay. Uh, would the verb ask? Uh, let's say that is Susana, right? Susana and Melvin. Okay. Uh, let's suppose, right? Susana le preguntó a él por su número de teléfono. How would you say? Ella le preguntó a él su número de teléfono. O le pidió a él su número de teléfono. Susana asked him for his... Susana asked, asked, asked him, him, him for, for his, his, his number. His phone number. Cell phone um, number. Phone. Okay. Number. Excellent. So what is the subject in this case? The subject. Subject. The uh, subject is him. No. Susana, Susana. Susana, Susana right, and the subject. And the object? Uh, the object is him. Him, him, right? Siempre. Okay. Uno siempre objeto. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> now. Uh, Are you not happy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So we have that example. Okay. Now we're going to move on and continue with the examples. Okay. Um, Era un chiste de victimización de los hombres. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. we are victims. Now, this is a statement, right? Uh, but then we have a request. Request is when we ask for something. For example, uh, call me this afternoon. What is the examples with messages with request? With a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Okay. Let's, I'm going to give you the example. You tell me the request. Okay. The message with a request. Um, send me some money tomorrow. Send me some money tomorrow. Could you send me some money tomorrow? Could you send me some money tomorrow? Okay. Uh, let's suppose that I'm telling this to my brother. Okay. Le estoy diciendo eso a mi hermano. Mándame dinero mañana. Okay. Could, could you tell to your brother that he can send you money? Mm. If he can send you money? No? It's possible. Okay. But the idea here is I want you to use the object pronouns. So instead of saying your brother, you can say. Could him. you ask him. Uh -huh. To. To send you money. Okay, I'm going to say it in Spanish now. Uh, por favor, pídele a él que me mande dinero mañana. How would you say that in English? Please tell him. No. To send. Pídele. Uh, no le digas. Pídele. <laughs> please ask to <laughs> him. Please. Please ask, 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 ask him, ask him to to send me money. Send me send money. money. Okay, por favor, pídele que me mande dinero mañana, right? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. So, um, another example. What happens normally? What normally happens with with my mother? I call and she doesn't answer the phone. 
I call her and she doesn't answer the phone. No sé si les pasa, pero le llaman a la mamá y, o a alguien de cierta edad y no les contesta nunca el teléfono. Ok. Um, I will ask you. Uh, the message is, eh, answer the phone. <laughs> answer the phone. Ok. Could the, you... the, idea, the idea is this. Ok, listen. ¿Podrías pedirle a ella que conteste el teléfono? Por favor. Could, could you tell her? No, pedirle. Could you ask her? Could you, could you ask, ask her, her to? to que responda el teléfono. To take the, my to, phone call. To, to pick answer. To answer, answer or answer. to pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, please. All right. El please siempre está, está bien <laughs> agregarlo. Could you please... So, could you ask her to answer or pick up the phone, please? Uh huh. Or so could we, you please? Mm -hmm. Sorry, but you, we mm -hmm. always have to use ask. When we are requesting something, yes. Cuando estamos pidiendo algo, sí. Cuando estamos informando algo, normalmente utilizamos el tell. Mm -hmm. Porque solo es informar, decir, okay. contar algo. Pero si es pedir, sí. Ok, utilizamos normalmente el ask. Okay. Oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Request and statement. <laughs> uh -huh. Request is a question, right? Ask. You ask for something. Uh, okay. For example, supongamos que esto, su esto sucede. Okay. Alguien le escribe a, a Edma. Uh, dile al profesor que no me voy a conectar hoy. Okay. Le está solicitando algo, ¿verdad? Que le diga al profesor que no, no se va a conectar hoy. Ok, ¿cómo sería la pregunta ya con el, con el request? O, o la oración con el request. ¿Sería ask o informar using tell? Could you tell her? Tell? Uh, here. Tell him or tell the teacher. <laughs> Ajá, ¿cómo sería? decir al profesor que no me voy a conectar esta noche? Could you, could you tell, tell him that, could you tell the teacher that I can connect tonight? Okay, could you tell the teacher that I won't connect? Okay, or join the I class uh -huh, to class tonight. Okay, excellent. Okay. I want. Okay, I want connect to class tonight. Okay, now, si sería pedirle permiso, ya sería un request. Okay, how would you say, podrías pedirle permiso al profesor uh, por mí? Could you ask the teacher? Uh, uh -huh. How do you say? Permiso, permiso. For permission. For permission. Because I'm in the hospital, like that. Normal. Okay, for permission, okay. Uh, because I'm sick, let's say. Okay. Okay, the reason, right? Could you ask the teacher permission because I'm sick? Okay, as an example, right? Now, that's the way that we use this, okay? This is just the explanation. Now we're going to the practice part. Uh, question, is this clear so far? Is this clear, the examples that I have given you? Okay, thank you, Jorge, for the examples uh, in the chat. Excellent. Okay, Susana asking for the phone number, uh-huh, excellent. So you can say pick up the phone or answer the phone, right? Or take my call, mm -hmm. now, um so do you have questions please use an emoji to express if you have questions or no for example the reactions right reactions if you have questions use this open mouth i have a question okay but if you don't have questions 
you can use a thumbs up, like, eh, we're good. Okay, Melvin says that it's okay, no problem. Okay, let's see the reactions, let's see the reactions. Okay, Evelyn is here. Jesus, you have a question, excellent. I hear teacher, uh, so, so I'm standing, uh, hold, uh, as, I no sé, uh, 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 as, as you, I so, so, uh, uh, as, as, the, understand. Understand, okay. Understand. Uh -huh. All uh, right. Call, call, uh, Reprise, uh, resume. Oh. Summarize. Summarize, please. Okay, I can do that. No problem. Jesus, you have okay, a question? Thank you. You're welcome. No, teacher, I understand what uh, hands up is no question. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. It's just to say that you understand. So, guys, as a, as a summary, okay, in short, we use tell and ask to uh, give a message, right? To give a message or to ask for a request. Uh, when it is a statement, for example, I say, hey, we finish classes to, or we have a test tomorrow. We have a test tomorrow. Please tell your classmates that we have a test tomorrow. Okay, that is a complete message. I can ask a question. Could you please tell your classmates that we have a test tomorrow, okay? And um, would you tell your classmates that we have a test tomorrow? So it's different ways to express a message, okay? To pass a message. But uh, in this case, okay, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to talk directly to these people. So I ask you, somebody to give the message, right? Cuando uno le dice a alguien que le dé el mensaje a alguien más. En estos casos que utilizamos esto. O cuando alguien le, le pedimos a alguien que le pida o le solicite algo a alguien más. Um, for example, let's suppose that um, I am in class right now, right? I am in class right now. And my nephew is making a lot of noise, watching TV, listening to music. So I take my cell phone. And I sent a message to my sister. Hey, could you please ask Marcelo to lower the, the volume or to turn down the volume of the TV, please? Because I am in class. So I asked my sister to request my nephew to turn down the volume, right? Or, let, or to make less noise. So uh, that is a scenario, right? When we ask somebody to pass a message. And when it's a, a statement, just to inform, we use tell. And when it's a request that we need something, we use ask, okay? Uh, for example, the I mentioned, right? Uh, could you ask my brother to send me money tomorrow, please? I can tell my mom, hey mom, can you, can you ask or could you ask my brother to send me money tomorrow, please? So, le pido a mi mamá que le pregunte a mi hermano si me puede mandar, que me, me puede mandar dinero mañana. So, it's an example. Um, so, it's just the structure, right? And obviously, the, the most important right now is that you understand the idea so that we can move to the practice. Okay, you see the examples, you understand the explanation, and we go to the practice to... Um, let's say, uh, completely understand how to use it, right? So sometimes it's with practice and exam, I mean, with the explanation and examples, it's okay, no problem, we can continue. But most of the time, I would say almost always, we need to practice in order to uh, understand everything clearly, right? So we don't have doubts. So that is the problem. Sometimes we don't practice enough. And that is uh, the reason why some people don't learn fast or don't learn enough because they don't practice. They just receive the class and goodbye. No more practice in, in English, right? 
So it's a little more difficult. Now, there are some messages here on message lips, right? Um, so you're going to ask someone to pass on these messages. Use the words in parentheses and then compare with a partner. Okay, so you can practice writing if you want, but the most important is that we practice speaking, right? For example, number one, Joel, the movie is at seven. Okay, in parentheses, could. Okay, el mensaje para Joel y que la película es a las siete. Okay, el could es una pregunta. Okay, could you tell Joel or Joe, right? The movie is at seven o'clock or that the movie is at seven o'clock. So that is optional. Okay, el that is optional. Um, so that is the message. Now you are going to practice number two, three, four, five, and six. You are going to go to the breakout rooms in groups, okay, so that you can pass a message, right? If, for example, Evelyn, Oscar, and Jesus are in the same group, so, okay, Evelyn, you do number two, Oscar number three, Jesus number four, number five, and number six, we do them together, okay, or volunteers. So, the idea is to practice, okay? So, we have uh, five examples, okay? Here you have number two, Mitch, pick me up at home around four o'clock. You're going to use would. Three, Eva, the concert on Saturday is canceled. Okay, please. No es pregunta, sino una oración. Okay, a statement. Please tell... Mm -hmm. uh, Jim, bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight. Would. Um, in this case, I think it's Anne. The museum opens at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Would is the verb that you're going to use. And then number six, Jerry, meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. 12.15. Please. So it's a statement. Okay. Um, that's basically what you're going to do. So you can take a screenshot. Okay. Um, and I got it. It's on the group. Okay. It's already in the WhatsApp group. Perfect. So we're going to the breakout rooms to practice the five examples. Okay. Ready? Set. And let's go so we have yep enough participants in every group okay one two three four one two three four five okay three groups of five okay some people can use a microphone some people cannot use a microphone we're okay um yeah perfect let's go Okay, you can accept the invitation now, um, Sylvia and Susanna. Susanna, did you get the invitation? Yeah, perfect. All right.
que usemos la, la palabra que está en el paréntesis. Ajá, entonces sería, would you ask him pick me up, pick me up at the home around four? Así sería. Would you ask him? Ask him. Podría decirle a Mitch y contesté el teléfono. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así. Ajá. Ok, y la otra sería, please, Eva, tell, please, tell, Eva, the con Eva please, the concert on Saturday is, Eva, tell, please, tell, Eva, así, ¿verdad? <laughs> please, ah, sí, sí, please, tell, tell, Eva, y luego. No. That. Y check. Sí, esa uh -huh. como es. Number. Number three. Number three. The concert uh, on Saturday. Uh -huh. on, on Saturday is canceled. Uh -huh. So please. Please. Tell. Tell. Eva. 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 Así se pronuncia Eva. Can, yeah, Eva. Or you Eva. can say tell her. Right. Tell her. Tell or, her. Uh -huh. Tell, Tell her, her the that, concert. The that, concert. That, 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 that is that. optional. It's optional. Okay. Ah, pero para que se escuche mejor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that the concert. Please the tell concert. her that the concert on Saturday is canceled. Okay. Yes. Okay. Y que tenemos acá dice ocho ocho la número cuatro. Mm -hmm. Jean. Es de pregunta, teacher. De ticket. Uh -huh. Would, okay. would, is a would you, has, you ask him? Así. Uh -huh. Would you ask him? Aunque lleves, aunque lleve el nombre. No es que lo sustituye. podemos sustituir, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh -huh. Por el pronombre. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Would you ask, would you ask him? That, teacher. Si quieres, si no, no. Pick the ticket for the In this case, game. No. Mm -hmm. would you ask him to? You not, ask him not to. Not that, it's to. Would to. you ask him to bring the tickets for the hockey bring. game tonight? Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces. Tickets. Oh, great. Number five. Five. Would you ask her? Would you ask her? Would you? Mm. In this case, is is a request or is a statement? Tell, uh, this, ask or tell. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. Would you ask tell? Would you Would tell? Would you tell? Would you tell? Would you tell her? Her. her that to the museum that the museum the museum museum opens see open at 10 tomorrow may see may see but but no me queda claro would you would you tell him would tell you her tell her tell her okay yeah tell the her rest. y la ultima please dice Please tell Jer, Jer, or Jer, si Jer. Jenny. Please mm -hmm. Jerry. tell Jerry, 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 y ahí me, you me. tú o that? Tú. Tú. Entonces sería, please tell Jerry to meet us. In front of the cafeteria, the cafeteria, cafeteria. at 11. 12? 12 15. 15. At 12 15, yes. 12 15. At noon. <laughs> I know. At 12 15. Oh, please to share. Oh, puedes substituirlo por el Himber. Mm hmm. 
tell him if it is Jerry, if it is Jenny, it's her. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Finish, teacher. Excellent. So the time is over. You finish on time. Gracias, what do you have for the number two? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. like two. Be him a good dress. Him. Good dress. Him. Pick me. Pick me up at two. home. Around. Pick me up. Pick me up. Two. Would pick you me ask up. him? Two. Pick me up. Two. Yeah, we what need to two? use two. We need to use two before si. the verb. Before the okay. verb. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Would give, you ask tell, him mm -hmm. to pick me up? To pick me up at home. Me around up four. At home around four. Excellent. Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Del Captain. All right. Mm -hmm. So there you go. All right. So oh, am I? <laughs> I need I need five volunteers. Five volunteers right now. Raise your hand or use a reaction to participate, and you are going to read one example okay so i need five volunteers brandy number one you go with with example number two edma example number three number four number four one volunteer for example number four let's see let's see so edma number I mean, Brandy number two, Edma number three. Who goes with number four? One volunteer for number four. Come on, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Raise your hand, your virtual hand. Don't worry, be happy. Hakuna Matata. Remember the slogan from Nike. Just do it. I'm not really clear about this, but if I make a mistake, I'm really sure you will help me. Okay, Jorge, thank you. Number four is for you. Okay, one more volunteer for number five, please. The last volunteer for number five. We have Nubia, Norma Callejas. We have Evelyn, Isaura, Jenny, Jesus, Nubia. Thank Nubia. you so much. Nubia number five. Okay, so let's go with number two. What do you have for number two, uh, Brandy? Um, it's a request. Mm -hmm. uh, please. Would? Uh, no, would? Uh, sorry. Good. You ask uh, Mitch, pick me up at home around four would you ask mitch to pick me up he's missing the, the article the proposition too mm -hmm, the proposition too because we need okay. to we need to use the preposition with the verb right to pick me up to go to call to uh-huh uh, so, but, but it's a request it's okay it's a request <laughs> yes it's great it's okay. oh yes i i just yeah. need this <laughs> So it's a request because we are ask we're asking for a specific action, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. We're not giving information. We're asking for something, okay, to do something. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. When it's an action, when it's a verb, it's a request. When it's just information about something, it's a statement, right? Just information that you're sharing. Excellent. Like Class, yes. Number okay. three, please. Class for Brandy. We we'll continue with the next volunteer, Edma. Okay, teacher. Please tell her that the concert on Saturday is canceled. Okay, please tell her that the concert on Saturday is canceled. Excellent. Okay, okay. some reactions for her, please. Thumbs up, taras, hearts, or happy faces. All right, excellent. Thank you. Number four. Okay, good night. Good evening. Good evening, Jorge. Would you? Would you ask Jim to bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight? Correct. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Excellent. 
Don't forget, right? It's a question, so you have to use the intonation. Will you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Uh -huh, like that, right? Um, okay. And remember that when you already have the name of the person, cuando ya sabemos de a quién estamos refiriendo, es posible sustituir el nombre por un pronombre. Okay? Um, then, number five. Would you, would you tell her the museum? The museum? Open uh -huh. uh, them tomorrow morning. Correct. Would you tell her the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning or tell her that? Okay, that is optional in these cases. And then uh, the last one, Jenny or Jerry, I'm not so sure. I think it's Jenny. <laughs> or oh, Jamie, no idea. Let's say that it's Jerry. <laughs> it's a boy. Let's no, it's Jerry. Jerry, right? Yeah. Okay. So Jerry, what is this? Is this a statement or a request? What do you think? It's a statement. Statement. In this it's case, a it's, a, request. it's a request, okay? Because if you see, we have an action. Meet us in front of the cafeteria, okay? Encuéntranos o reúnate con nosotros en la cafetería. Estamos pidiendo algo que haga algo específico, okay? So it's a request. Uh, okay, so how would you com complete this request using please? Please write it in the chat, okay? Write it in the chat to see if we have some answers. We're going to give the opportunity to the people who can use the chat. What do you have for number six? Please share your answer in the chat, okay? No microphone for number six, only chat. Okay, now, in the meantime, okay? In the meantime, para mientras, mientras tanto, we're going to move on to the next part. That is, Reduction of could you and would you. When we're asking questions and we want to speak like native speakers, like gringos, right? We normally do this kind of uh, trick. We use reductions. So instead of saying, for example, what about you? You know that in English, in American English, people say, what about you? What about, right? So they, they do a little reduction, right? A little connection. What about you? Uh, instead of saying, could you, we say, could you, could you, so we connect, right? Could you, could you, uh, could you tell Matt that the meeting is at five o'clock? Could you tell Matt, okay? Could you tell Matt that the meeting is at five o'clock? Or could you tell Matt, Matt that the meeting, well, no, that the meeting is at five o'clock. And the last one is, would you, would you? is the normal would you but if you want to use a reduction you say would you would you right would you so uh we pronounce it as one word would you ask him would you ask him right would you ask him to pick me up uh at 4 30 would you ask me to pick me up at 4 30 so for this final one uh we are going to practice with the examples Listen and repeat. Even if you don't activate the microphone, you can just say the sentences, right? Okay, let me check the chat. If we have a sentence, please tell him to. Uh-huh, please tell him to. And Brandy says, please ask him to meet us in front of the cafeteria. That is the correct verb. In, in this case, we ask. We use ask. Please, Jerry, please meet us in front of the cafeteria. It's correct, but it's incomplete. We need to use the verb ask. Okay. Please ask Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. That is the correct statement, or the in this case, the correct request. Now, uh, listen and repeat. Could you tell him to, could you tell him I be, I'll be late? Could you? Could you tell him I'll be late? Could you tell him I'll be late? Second, 
Would you ask her? Would you ask her? Ask her. That's another another connection here. Ask her. We don't say ask her. We say ask her. Ask her. El sonido de la H en este caso se, se bota y se une con el sonido de la K. Ask her. Okay? Ask her. Uh, so you say, would you ask her to be on time? Would you ask her to be on time? Okay? It's like when you say, um, well, we'll go the, with the next example. Could you ask her? Ask her, right? Could you ask her to return my dictionary? Could you ask her to return my dictionary? And the last one, would you tell him? Okay. Otra vez, botamos el sonido la H y decimos tell him. Tell him. Okay. Would you tell him there's a picnic tomorrow? Would you tell him there's a picnic tomorrow? Okay. Tell him. Tell her. Ask her. Ask him. Okay. So we use another reduction there. Okay. I repeat. Could you tell him I'll be late? Would you ask her to be on time? Could you ask her to return my dictionary? Would you tell him that, would you tell him there's a picnic tomorrow? So that is just uh, the way that we reduce could you and would you, okay? Instead of saying could you, you say could you, could you. And instead of saying would you, you say would you, would you, okay? Would you ask him, right? Would you ask him? Could you tell her? Could you tell him? Could you tell Matt? Okay. So we have a lot of different examples, but the most important is that you remember to make the little uh, reduction. For example, how would you ask the question, hiciste la tarea in English? How would you ask that in English? Hiciste la tarea? Did you do the homework? Did you? Did you? Do. do. Did you do? Did you do, did you do the do homework? The homework? Did you do did the homework? You do the homework? Okay. Oh, is, yeah. it, is it possible to, to reduce did you? Did you? Yeah. That's one option, but it's a little more informal. Okay. So we say, do you, right? Do you do the homework? Do you do the homework? Do you do the homework? Oh, do you do, do, you do the homework? Do you do the homework? Do you do the homework? It sounds do like do you, right? Do you like do you do the homework? Okay. Do you do the homework? So that's what happens. Okay. Y eso es lo que pasa con el idioma cuando es nativo, natural, verdad? Se hacen un montón de reducciones de enlaces que normalmente los que lo aprendemos de un libro, okay, no lo hacemos porque es algo más eh, cultural, más cultural que sea día a día en la calle, ¿verdad? Uh, como en el español. Quien quiera hablar salvadoreño tiene que venir un ratito al Salvador, ¿verdad? Para entender cómo lo hablamos. Eh, entonces. Eh, like es, a, es, I don't know. Ajá, como el, como el buir, ¿verdad? Uh, no, I don't know. No, no entendemos, pero si alguien más escucha buir, ah, ¿qué es buir? Voy a ir. Ah, okay. a little weird. <laughs> okay, so um, there are there are those little things, right, that we do with the language, and it's the same in English, right? It's the same in English. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, okay, that will be all for today. Um, uh, we still have one class more. We still have one class more to go. So, um, and right now, I want to know if you have any doubts. Tomorrow, we are going to see the platform, okay? In case you have some questions, some final questions. Um, and we are going to finish, right? With the last exercises, as you can see, we have some role plays. Uh, we have a reading, okay? About the cell phone etiquette and uh, some exercises related to the reading, right? To finish that. Um, but that's it. Okay, we're going to make a general review. We're going to do a couple of extra activities. We're going to take a picture and um, you're going to clarify any doubts that you have, okay? Or complaints. <laughs> you can also give your complaints tomorrow. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, uh, we will take just a, a little screenshot because a little let's say a little picture because I see a lot of uh, red around here, okay? So I see some people that are going to a party maybe, okay? So we're going to take a picture, taking advantage of that. 
Uh, so tomorrow we take the the official picture, and today we take the the picture in red. <laughs> okay, so Jesus, good to see you. Okay, um, ready, set, and smile. Perfect, and I think that that's okay. Yeah, I already took it. I'm going to share it in the chat. Okay, uh, let's see if it's okay. Yep, okay, everybody's smiling, looking good. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure to see you today. I hope that all the information was clear and that you have no questions, okay, for today. So, if you have questions, you can send a message through the WhatsApp group or you can wait for tomorrow's class. So, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Get enough rest. And don't forget to pray and take a shower. Okay. So, <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Good night, teacher. No, teacher, please don't go. Good night, teacher. Please don't go. Good night, Edmason. I, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? His name is Ronnie. 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 Okay, okay. I'm here. Hi, my name Hello. is Ronnie Rene Platero Peña. Ah, it's I am Ronnie. from uh, El Salvador. I am living La Libertad. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so you can practice together. You can practice English together. Awesome. <laughs> It's good, it's good because he's not afraid, he's not shy. So, <laughs> thank you, Chief. Okay, you're welcome. Have a good night. Good night, class me. Bye bye.